Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome the very first athlete into our Hall of Fame from St. Charles High School and the very first wrestler, Mr. Mark Ruz. Thank everyone for their kind words on the video. That was uh, very nice. Um, <laughs> I would like to start off by thanking everyone involved in the selection process for even considering me as a candidate for the Saginaw County Hall of Fame. With such a rich history of great athletes and success stories in Saginaw County, this is a huge honor. I'd like to also thank Mr. Walzine, Mr. Olson, and my wife for all their help and support throughout this whole process. After learning that I was selected, I've had a lot of time to reflect on the past and all of the experiences that athletics have allowed me to enjoy in my life. And throughout the years of my career, a lot of people have always asked me about adversity and what hardships had I overcome in my athletic career. It's funny now to look back and remember what I thought I was overcoming when I was involved in sports, with minor injuries, being a little smaller than everyone else in the field, and some of the stresses that came along with long wrestling seasons. Now, looking back, I can definitely say, without a doubt, that in my athletic career, I've never had to come overcome a real hardship. I always had the greatest coaches, the greatest teammates, and the most supporting family anyone could ask for. I'd like to thank my high school football coaches, Coach Walzine, Coach Ruz and Coach Moroz for giving me a chance to play quarterback for St. Charles. There aren't a lot of coaches that would hand the ball over to an individual who's five foot five, 120 some pounds, and ran a 40 time that you could time on a calendar. <laughs> That's sad but true. <laughs> Not too many people my size would have gotten a second look from their coaches. I appreciate the opportunity that you gave me and the extra effort it took from you to make me successful. I was also fortunate enough to have two of the best wrestling coaches in the state to learn from and wrestle for. My dad and Coach Goedesek always showed the highest level of technique and always had a room full of all state caliber wrestlers that pushed each other every day to reach their full potential. In an individual sport like wrestling, you're only as good as your workout partners and your coach's knowledge of the sport. Some individuals go their whole careers with no one to push them and are limited by their coach's experience. At St. Charles, with Coach Goedesek and Coach Ruz, no one ever had that problem. Wrestling for those two taught me how to succeed in life and not just on the mat. Thank you too for being such an influential part of my life. Most importantly, I'd like to thank my family and my parents. I'm not sure if there's ever been a student athlete with more support than I had. With my sister and I playing three sports, all four years in high school, throughout all the seasons, all the away games, and all the extracurricular activities that we both did, my parents never missed a single event. That is probably the most memorable thing for me about my athletic career, and one of the first things that comes to mind when I think of high school sports. It was always amazing to have that kind of support without adding to the pressures of being a student athlete. You never stressed to me about wins and losses, just about work ethic, trying your hardest, and building a strong character. My sister showed me that you don't have to be the biggest or the strongest to be a great athlete. Seeing your dedication in the off season was a huge inspiration to me. It made me a believer in hard work and fearlessness can overcome being a little bit vertically challenged. I'm sure that being a mother of an athlete is never easy. I'm sure that being the mother of me was an absolute nightmare. <laughs> Sitting through endless wrestling tournaments and doing it with a smile and letting me know, always know that there was nowhere else you'd rather be. Sitting through cold, windy, rainy Friday night football games and always being supportive. Seeing the confidence that you had in me always gave me confidence in myself. Your love and support has always carried me through any struggle I have ever had in my life. Thank you for being the best mom in the world.
One of the greatest things was having my dad as a coach. It was even better that he always separated the two. I think the way that you were able to coach me, push me, and get after me on the field or mat, and then an hour later sit down and have dinner every night was a very special situation that has always meant a lot to me. You're always my dad first, my best friend second, and my coach third. Thank you for always keeping them in that order. They always say that people are a product of their environment, and that is something that I'm very proud of and believe in. Thank you for inducting me and my environment into the Hall of Fame. Thank you.